Remember that one time I was in Switzerland and it was like dead of winter and we were all holed up in this little chalet in the Alps? No, I don't because it was the middle of summer. This is a new neural filter that Photoshop has with the latest CC 2022 updates, automatically adjusting landscapes. Crazy stuff going on here with the neural filters. Let me show you how it works. And it's pretty self-explanatory. If you have a image open, go up to filter, neural filters. You're going to have to download some of these. I haven't downloaded it or played around with all of them, but these were introduced a year or so ago, but they've added some ones in beta, such as this landscape mixer. And so the way this works, is, or these different ones work differently, but this one works, you choose an option. We're gonna go with winter, this first picture. It's going to process. All right, that doesn't look good, but we have some adjustments we can make. We can choose to preserve the subject. So it automatically looks for the subject of your photo, which it sees as this building. And then we can harmonize, which is another new feature in CC 2022, where it sort of blends the colors and things of two different photos or two different layers of a composite. So this looks pretty dang good. If you wanna do it from scratch or change it completely or add to it, you can drag up these other sliders for winter, autumn, summer, spring. Pretty dang crazy. You could even bring in your own custom picture if you have a landscape photo style that you want and take that, what it's seeing as the colors, the season, and apply it to any other photos of yours. Here's a better example of what that harmonization filter looks like. Here's a photo of me when I was a baby and I got engaged to my wife, Isabel. And I've already removed the background or created a mask around us using the select subject feature. So if we wanna blend these two photos together and make them look good, well, first we have to adjust the sizing of things. So I would probably be something, something around there potentially. It doesn't look perfect though, and one of the reasons is because the lighting and the colors aren't exactly the same. This shot was taken a few days before this other one, both in Switzerland, but this one was on top of a mountain where I proposed. And so let's go up to neural filters. All right, so now what we can do is turn on this harmonization filter. We select the layer we want to match the colors to. So we're gonna select the background, and then it's going to process and then apply that color adjustment. Pretty dang crazy. And then to save any of these filters, what you can do is you can click OK. You could output it to a new layer. You could make it a smart filter itself, or you could sort of burn it into that existing layer. I'm gonna do it as a new layer. So we have this new layer here. We can turn on and off. You can see the before and after. Now let's really sell this a little bit better. We're gonna duplicate this background. So we have a copy, go up to filter. We're gonna blur it a little bit. Let's just do our Gaussian blur. Woo, that's too much. Something just a very subtle. And then maybe we will add a mask to this and then sort of blend it in. So we're gonna erase a little part of this grass in the bottom that is still in focus with us. Would have to do a little bit of playing around with position, sizing, things like that, but two completely different photos from two different areas, locations, blended together using some of the new neural filter techniques. Pretty dang awesome. So I'll let you play around with those other neural filters, but there are updates there, different options that I wanted to just showcase for you in this CC 2022 update. All right, have a great day and check out my other CC 2022 updates for Adobe products on the YouTube channel. Cheers.